Hello everyone. Today we will be going over 2004 USAMO problem number 5. Here's a view of this problem. ABC are positive real numbers and we would like to prove this following inequality. So this is again a problem about algebraic inequalities. In this particular case, what really makes us feel uncomfortable is these fifth powers here uh, on the left hand side. So we would really be happy to reduce this power of these three polynomials to something manageable in the in the order of two or three instead of five so for that we make the following observation that we kind of uh, feel like we'll we'll do the trick so please observe the sign of x squared minus one and x cubed minus one for a minute so uh, well, whenever x is actually greater than 0, I should say. So, uh, 0 here, if you will. And then I will have 1 because both of these expressions have roots at 1. So, when x is strictly less than 1, we would have a negative here. When x is greater, so when x is less than 1 here, or x is greater than 1. When x is greater than 1, we would have a positive here. When x is less than 1, negative here, positive here. So, uh, what really, what this really suggests is that, um, well, the product of these two terms is always greater than or equal to 0 at least. So, we have x cubed minus 1, x squared minus 1, for x greater than or equal to 0. But then we can simply go ahead and expand and distribute these terms um, and that's what we would get and now I can kind of make uh, this expression look like what I have here so let's just move x cubed to the um, left hand side and then probably add 2 to both sides of this inequality so what we get here as a result will be x cubed plus 2 uh, is less than or equal to x to the fifth minus x squared plus uh, 3. So now that gives us a very good idea on how to simplify the expression here. So what we have in mind is that the left hand side of our inequality here um, is actually greater than or equal to um, a cubed plus 2 b cubed plus 2 times c cubed plus 2 and hopefully we would like to show this holds so what we did is um, we were able to uh, represent the left hand side of in our equality in this form uh, but be aware that the left hand side of the actual inequality is actually greater than or equal to this so therefore if we can prove this problem over here inside this rectangle then it would naturally solve the problem at hand so at this point um, you can attempt various approaches to solve this significantly easier um, inequality um, so what we will do is we will just go ahead and use some simple AMGM uh, facts um, let me just go ahead and write down our, the, the, the claim that we have so our claim uh -huh. would be a cubed plus 2 times b cubed plus 2 times c cubed plus 2 is greater than or equal to a plus b plus c cubed so that's really what we want to prove so for that what i will do i will go ahead and expand the left hand side and cancel some like terms and as well can um, expand the right hand side as well so um, after you do all these expansions this inequality can equivalently be stated as a cubed, b cubed, c cubed, plus 3a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed, um, plus 2 times a square b. Uh, my apologies. So I should have rather said huh? um, a um, cubed b cubed plus b cubed c cubed plus c cubed a cubed um, plus 8 so we would like to show this thing being greater than or equal to 
the right hand side so i will go ahead and expand the right hand side as well so what we have and and after cancelling like terms as i said earlier um so we would get something like that actually d square c plus uh, c square b plus c square a plus a c squared close the parentheses plus 6 a b c okay so that's a um that's the uh, inequality that we would like to prove now so uh, so that there's a question mark here so what I will do is I will go ahead and apply AMGM in the following way so we claim that a cubed plus a cubed b cubed um, plus one uh, is uh, by AMGM is greater than or equal to three a square b so what we will do here is that we will um, repeatedly apply this inequality um, on these terms here on the left hand side and then on these terms here uh, all of these terms and adding one so hopefully we will get the ones from inside the eight so what will this will do is we have six such terms at least two here so two here two here here we have more than enough so um, we have at least nine so but this will be binding the the six will be binding so as a result i should say um um so this this um inequality reduces huh? so i would like to reduce my inequality here so to something really manageable actually a cubed times b cubed times c cubed plus a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus one plus one um greater than or equal to six a b c so please convince yourself that you can reduce this whole inequality here that we just suggested into this much much simpler form and be be aware here that i did this following trick i split the two here into two pieces and that's for a very good reason because this inequality in fact if you apply amgm to these six terms on the left hand side you would get huh, so that's your arithmetic mean part with six terms so and that's what you will get on the geometric mean well at least um we were we kind of moved the six from the left side to the right so they are not really amgm but at least the inequality itself is amgm by amgm inequality as well so what we did is first we applied the amgm inequality six times into this thing and then we in order to serve further simplify the result to what something which we really wanted we just observed that the left hand side ha has six terms and the right hand side has that six data that will will do it um and that actually solves our problem so uh, I hope to see you in our next video.